this week's parashat Kisavai, we read about the techecha, the rebukes, that Moshe Rabbeinu is admonishing the Jewish people before he passes away with very, very severe rebukes and punishments as a consequence if they nullify the covenant with Hashem. Although these rebukes are very hard to hear and uh, they actually are frightening, but nevertheless, we can find in these verses one of the greatest predictions that the Torah has ever predicted for the Jewish nation. If anyone wants to challenge the authenticity of the Torah, I would challenge them to read certain verses of this week's parasha. And I'll share some of them with you. One verse says, God will scatter you among all the nations from one end of the earth to the other. This is Moses talking to the Jewish people in the desert before they even entered their homeland. And he's already not just threatening, he's actually predicting that God will scatter you from all, to all the nations of the earth, to all corners of the earth. Now that is a very, very strong prediction. Can you imagine if Julia Gillard today would make a prediction that in even in a hundred years time all Australians will be scattered throughout all corners of the earth. People will think she's crazy. But the fact is, you look back in the history of the Jewish people, there isn't a corner of the earth that Jews haven't been scattered to. Another verse, it says that your life will be will hang in suspense before you. You'll be frightened night and day. And you will not be certain of your life. Things will constantly get worse. So in the morning you will say, if only it were yesterday evening, and in the evening you will say, if it, only, if it were only this morning. Because of the fear in your heart, which you will experience, and because of the things you will see. This is an open prediction about all the persecutions that the Jewish people went through throughout the history. There's another verse in this week's parsha that states, Among all the nations to whom God will lead you, you will become a source of astonishment, an example of persecution, and a topic of discussion. This clearly predicts anti-Semitism. Wherever we've gone, whichever nation where the Jewish people have gone, we've always been a topic of discussion, we've always been an example of persecution, we've always been singled out. And this is one of the enigmas of anti-Semitism. Many people try to give many reasons for anti-Semitism, some of them are contrary reasons. In one country, uh, people say uh, there's anti-Semitism because Jews are too, too insular. In other countries, uh, people say that anti-Semitism is because Jews are too involved in society, taking up all the prominent positions. Contrary reasons for anti-Semitism. Essentially, we don't really know what the core of anti-Semitism is. But the fact is, there is anti-Semitism even today and throughout our history, and that's predicted in this week's parasha. But just to conclude on a positive note, there's another verse, not in this week's parasha, but in a previous parasha, which also is called the Teichacha. The rebukes are written twice in the Torah, one in this week's parasha and one in B'chukhoisai. And in B'chukhoisai, it says, at the end of the rebukes, but despite all this, Ababa mentioned punishment. While they are in their enemy's land, I will not despise them and become disgusted by them to the extent that I will annihilate them, breaking my covenant with them. For I am God, their God. I will remember the covenant I made with them and that I took them out of Egypt and I will be a God for them forever. So ultimately, this is the greatest prediction that the Torah is telling us, that even though we will go through all this persecution, anti-Semitism, and be scattered through all the nations, nevertheless, we will still survive, and will still triumph, and still outlive all our enemies, and we will live forever, and that is what is predicted in this, in also the Torah.
we all wish you a good Shabbos and may Hashem help that this ultimate prediction that Hashem will bring us back to our homeland with the Beis Hamikdash should be done speedily nowadays.